honest, I still don't believe it. It still hasn't sunk in. I have one of my big bags packed. I have my carry-on packed. I have my um, backpack packed. Everything, everything is just it's packed already. Well, not really. There's still some stuff outside, but I've done all of the packing that I needed to do, and I still don't like. It hasn't sunk in. I've been, I've been waiting for this for a long time, guys. A long time. I've been preparing and waiting and praying for the longest time and the fact that I am living in my answered prayer is absolutely mad. I'm going to show you my bags because you know it's not actually a lot. So at first I thought that I was going to need that bag but I don't. That's my carry-on over there. It has all my valuables and I guess it's some clothing just in case I lose this big bag that has all of my clothing inside. Um, oh. I surprisingly don't have that many things to take, so I have my toiletry bag, um, I packed it up with all of my clothes. I actually have a to-do list and I think I've done most of the things on that list. I've gathered all my documentation, actually not all of it, but I, I still have something missing that I still haven't even said. But anyway, I've gathered all of my documentation, I've packed my bags, I've bought everything that I needed to buy. I have a huge bag of medicine that I put in there for quarantine because two weeks is a long time. You can get very sick in two weeks. But anyway, I still need to do a travel plan. Playlist. I've already started downloading movies for me to watch. I have my hard drive that has series on. I'm gonna download some more because it's always, I just feel like it's always good to be prepared, you know? Sometimes you just need to watch something. Right then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave from here, go to Portugal, from Portugal to Toronto, and then from Toronto to Ottawa. It's a 26 hour journey, so it's a lot like i'm not going to spend 26 hours on the on the like flight or anything but um there's there's layovers and all of that so i'm going to be in airports for a while ooh, 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 ooh. i'm gonna download demon slayer so that i can watch that because i've been wanting to watch it and i actually just remembered wow 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 wow, wow. okay um and something songs for 16 hours but i feel like that's good enough like i'm probably not going to listen to music for the whole 26 hours please have you ever finished a thing of vaseline please tell me have you ever finished one because i don't think you have I, my second one that i'm finishing like that i didn't lose i don't think people talk enough about how, how much work it is to actually travel to travel in general and then to travel during covid there's the booking booking for flights booking for where you're going to quarantine um then finding a place to stay while you're there. Then there's the whole um, taking COVID test. And then for Canada, you have to register basically all of your travel details on a RiveCan and I'm still not done with that. This is the first time I've traveled like with a student visa and they require you to still take a whole lot of documentation. Usually when you get your visa, you can just like go, like no one's gonna check it anymore. But um, it's different with Canada, so. It's travel day and I thought I was done packing but I played myself because my bag is too heavy. So now we're gonna leave some stuff behind. That's one heavy thing down. I don't know what else I can take out because I use most of this stuff. So we're gonna switch to voiceover now because apparently I was either too tired, too stressed, or too sad to actually vlog and say something to the vlog. I swear that was the longest queue I've ever stood in. I stood in that queue for almost three hours only to get to the front and realize or be told that I didn't actually need to be in that queue. So that was nice. The fact that there was such a long queue at passport control ended up delaying the whole flight. So we only left like an hour after we were supposed to leave anyway. The reason why there was such a long queue was because the people who work at passport control were striking from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we basically got there and there were only two people working and there were so many flights arriving at the same time.
finally made it to Toronto. I was so happy, but we were an hour late. Not only that, but I realized that we traveled back in time. So that flight from Lisbon to Toronto left at around nine o'clock and arrived in Toronto at 12. Please tell me how an eight hour flight will leave at 8 a.m. and then arrive at 12 p.m. We went back in time. And I am officially a time traveler, thank you very much. So remember how my flight arrived late? I ended up missing my flight from Toronto to Montreal and then I had to stand in another queue to try and get myself booked onto another flight. Luckily there was a 7pm flight from Toronto straight to Ottawa and that's the one that I got on and I just waited there and appreciated the country and took in all the sights from the airport and all of that because those were the last people I saw. This is now my 8th day in quarantine and I have not seen any other people since then. Welcome to day three of quarantine. This is my second full day here. This is today's food package. This looks like a lot of food. We have some juice, some grape juice, yay. Big fan of grape juice. I've been getting vegetable, like um, steamed vegetables, but I don't have olive oil vinegar or like, I do get salt in the cutlery packages and if you know Portuguese people or just is it is it a Portuguese people thing? I don't know. We just need to have something. Like there's no salad dressing either. So I'm very happy about this. Now I can eat. I have what looks like tomato soup. I have a banana. Yay. We got trail mix. A nice snack. Ooh, I have oh this is this looks so good. Oh my gosh. This this is the best food delivery I've had in the past. I've only been here for three days, but the past two days haven't been the best. I would give them like a six out of ten for each day. And Today is looking like an 8 out of 10. Just oh, wow. This looks like dinner. I have some turkey, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. It looks good. I hope it tastes good as well. One thing with the food that I've been eating, guys, it lacks taste, guys. It, it, it's lacking, you know, flavor. It's lacking salt. It's lacking some maggi. So I just usually add salt and tomato sauce or mayonnaise if I have some. I don't know what hash browns are but this looks like it could be a hash brown. And then I have this. It's an egg with cheese. An egg and cheese sandwich? I don't know. But yeah, this is breakfast. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the place where I'm staying. It's Kind of like a one bedroom apartment with like let me just show you so this is the main door that leads you into the room or suite or whatever and the first thing you see is the living room obviously it's a little bit messy but you know whatever to my left i have this small closet that has some wooden hangers inside that i just noticed today actually it has a shoe thingy on the floor for i guess boots and stuff and to the right i have a dryer and a washer down here how i've grown up this is called a giza right <laughs> i don't know what it's called in other like types of english but in south african english it's a giza to your left you have the kitchen and you've pretty much already seen the this is the dinner table this is the situation just four chairs a table you know you have a coffee table a two-seater couch the my battery is low that's why i'm going so quickly but um that lamp thing over there we have an office chair and a desk with the hotel phone and you have some tv here and i think i'm pretty sure it has cable then we have the bathroom a nice bathtub with um the shower head over there um you know it's we have a mirror it's a bathroom i still look like someone who's been sleeping for 24 hours but anyway then we got the room as soon as you walk in you have a dresser which has like my journal we have a mirror that looks at the bed another tv um a mess so we have two bedside tables and that is that a chair can i call that a chair but anyway yeah this is my other suitcase and i did actually come with some some of my, my favorite chips and my favorite biscuits because I just couldn't come without them, man. On my bedside table, I have my at-home COVID test that I'm meant to take on day eight. My glasses, my passport, and yeah, this is the view from the bedroom window. It's been very interesting to just look out the window. Moving on to the balcony, which I'm a little bit scared to go out on, and this is the first time I'm gonna go out on the balcony. Oh wow, okay, it sounds like a city out here. 
I'm on the 19th floor, which is absolutely scary. But anyway, this is the view from the balcony. 